It's St. Patrick's Day. Green clothes, green beer, green everything, basically. But it's one big green blur for people who play in Irish bands. This is crunch time for them, a time they play nonstop, morning till night. Andrew Chang has the story. This is March, yeah. The biggest month. It's definitely the biggest month. Okay, I'll show you. This is gigs. <laughs> We're going to pay the rent off of this month. You got to pack most of this crap up, run it out to the cab, go, unpack everything, set up, and then uh, make music. This is a big day for everyone. A couple thousand people will make their way through this pub today. It's a good environment. Everyone's drinking beer. Everyone's having fun. And the music just, you know, makes the day a better day. Spreads the cheer, spreads the joy. Gets everybody dancing and yelling. Drink more beer! But for musicians, this is a marathon. It reaches a feverish pitch starting today and continues until parade day. It's a great week for anyone who's playing in the Irish pubs, playing Irish music. Um, you know, you I'd say you're doing triple your usual schedule at least. Great for business, but physically draining. We've got about nine gigs in eight days this week, so uh, we're just hoping we stay healthy and don't get laryngitis. It's not really a first aid kit, it's just uh, in order not to get laryngitis or whatever, this is full of halls, fishermen's friends, Kleenex, um, what else is in there? Uh, we got band-aids, polysporin in case you need it, uh, lip gloss, We've been doing this for a while now, and uh, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long week. Now, there are times where you're playing a song and uh, you're hoping the lyrics come as you sing because you have no idea what they are, you know, because you're in your kind of songs. But play on, they will for 12 hours a day until Monday. That's the day after the parade and the day these musicians can take a much-needed break. Andrew Shang, CBC News, Montreal.